Hi everyone, I'm back and we're here with Carol today. Um, this is my series about how female founders uh, around the UK and beyond are facing coronavirus and the crisis that um, started with it in the business world. Um, as you know, I have been interviewing other female founders from the UK, from Italy, from France. And today we're with Carol and uh, she's much better at me um, at describing what she does. So I'll hand over to her. Go. Hi everyone, it's Carol from One of a Kind Club here. Um, One of a Kind Club is all about um, confidence inspiring jewellery. I set the business up about six months ago after working in marketing and advertising for 20 years, but um, had my second child and basically moved to, from London to Norwich and realised I wanted to be more creative, wanted to be independent, wanted to really kind of live the dream about what I wanted to do in terms of following my passion for jewellery. So it's all about making people feel more confident in their daily life, which we all need a bit of, especially at the moment. And um, and that's what One of a Kind Club's all about. Fabulous. I really, really like your brand. It's really nice. And the jewellery is really different. I really, really like it. And um, so tell us about um, how were things just before coronavirus and what happened when this hit? I mean, as a new business person, in terms of I only set it up six, seven months ago, it's it's the whole kind of, you don't know what to expect compared to normal. So although you take on over what it was like before, it's basically the first six months, loads of enthusiasm, loads of like building a brand, had loads and loads of press coverage because it was all about kind of confidence inspiring and part of my story about not being confident and then becoming confident and kind of wanting to share that feel good factor. So it was very much kind of exciting times and um, I was becoming known, business was growing, lots of people wanted to collaborate. And so it was just, it was early days, but it was all really, really exciting and really kind of yeah. getting there and being really positive. Very buzzing, isn't yes, it? Yes, very, very and, buzzing. And you were telling me uh, the other day, you had quite a lot of press coverage, even though you were quite a new business a newcomer yeah, on on the business uh market isn't it so it was really really good exactly, and then yeah, what I... happened when this all started i think it was just it was one of those moments of everyone kind of went into panic mode really and and jewelry is not an essential item i know that but um it, the kind of first couple of weeks was quite slow in terms of sales but i think it was just more about my values and my dream is all about inspiring confidence and feel good factor. And actually I've been posting several times a day. I've just been kind of giving that kind of positivity. My world slightly changed in terms of, I'm a mum of two kids, so I'm now a homeschooler. I have complete more respect for teachers now than I ever have in my life. But um, it just means that, although people are jokingly saying I'm superwoman because I'm still posting, I'm still being positive and I'm still, like, I'm still selling things as well as teaching my children. So it's more about kind of, um, actually the changes that it's made to me was it's slowed down but it's actually given me that time to pause a little bit reflect yeah. a little bit, and actually keep going and i'm not changing massively what i'm doing but it's all about positivity and keeping people's spirits high yeah and i suppose it fits in with with your brand and your messaging isn't it it's all about positivity and confidence so anyway it's it still fits in into that although we're not talking about body positivity anymore but we're talking about being positive in a situation that is not very positive. Exactly, and it's the little things you can do, say putting on a pair of earrings kind of makes you have put a smile on people. Yeah. So you actually people are, and also people are treating each other where they can't go and physically see people. They're actually sending out gifts of little things because all the range is quite affordable. So it means it's, it's the price of kind of 10 pounds to send something to someone to show that you care. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice thing. Yeah, I find, for example, for me, uh, getting dressed in the morning is a very big thing. Um, I, I always get dressed and I always put a tiny little bit of makeup on because that tells my brain I am ready to work. And although, as you say, I am a mom too, so there is like one call and half an hour of trying to homeschool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing one day. Uh, but yeah, there is like that a little bit of work and a little bit of playing or homeschooling or cooking. We're making so many cakes. 
Um, and and I, know, I think that you're either going to be fat, divorced, pregnant, or fit by the time it's all over. So I get whipped every day. So I'm hoping it'll be fit. <laughs> For me, it depends on the day. Some days I'm like, yeah, gym. Let's do a Zoom session, and then let's go up and down the stairs 15 times. And another day, I'm gonna eat 10 Twix biscuits now because I'm tired. <laughs> I know, I think it's the, it's the reality of it all is like we have to push through our, the changes that we face, but actually if we do it with a smile on our face and we do it with yeah. a... And you, you also appreciate the little things like I've been teaching a six-year-old how to do kind of mathematics and actually trying to get someone to understand something is actually amazing and the, thing, and the stories he comes up with and the way that we're using our imagination and creativity is, is so much more amazing. Although yeah. quite a lot of YouTube watching in terms of... I've outsourced my um, teaching to year one YouTube teachers, basically. <laughs> yeah. Well, but also, it's very interesting what you were saying about people sending little gifts to people they can't see, because I find I have sent a couple of things out um, to friends that, because some of my friends, they are far. They are far anyway, but at this specific moment, not only they are far, but some of them are alone because yeah. They live abroad and they are uh, historians and researchers. So when this hit, they found themselves living alone in a place where some of them had just moved, literally moved. My best friend moved on the 4th of March and three days later, the lockdown in France started. And she's alone in a flat by herself in a place where she doesn't know anyone. So. I think people are starting to realize that there are other ways to feel uh, near to each other, isn't it? Um, and I and think, a yeah. Lot, a lot of my sales are basically been people saying, can, we, can you send it directly to, as, a, as a gift? So yeah. That before, I've never done that really before, but actually putting in a personalized note with them or doing things or actually, even if I'm send, sending it to someone who's not asked for that, I'm writing them a little note just to cheer them up as well. So. Oh, that's really nice. So. Um, in terms of doing things now and keeping the business running now, uh, are there any things that you changed compared to before the coronavirus that you're thinking, you know what, maybe this works and I'm going to bring it into the post-coronavirus thing? I think it was actually, um, I did a really good like reflection phase in terms of looking at my business plan, kind of catching up with you, obviously, and just looking at kind of, I've got loads of feedback from quite a lot of people in terms of what I was doing well and what I wasn't doing so well. And actually a lot of the things I was doing, so actually I'm still going to keep true to my values and everything else and the things that I was doing, but there's a lot more kind of, I've been doing things about kind of confidence and researching it and actually inspiring yeah. different people. So it's about working on those collaborations that I probably will take forward more and looking at kind of people who inspire me and how and how they're doing things so working with them so there's probably going to be a lot more kind of collaboration there's going to be a lot more learning I've been doing within a closed group at the moment Facebook live videos because of obviously it's really important to get out there and be your authentic message but I after 20 years of working advertising and marketing I'm used to being behind the camera rather than in front of <laughs> I quite like I don't really like being on camera but I'm but I'm pushing it and I think we've all got to you've got to keep pushing you've got to keep kind of being positive and and also realizing at any point not to overdo it you're not going to be super mum you're not going to be super woman you can't oh, no. absolutely everything and looking after yourself so I think it's things that I was doing anyway being a small business owner and working for myself at home it's different now that I've got my husband and my two kids here all the time. I don't, and my husband's taken over my studio, which is why I'm sat in this lovely room at the moment. <laughs> his desk and like 15 computer screens are all over my studio at the moment. But um, I think it's, it's just- the same for me. My studio is now the music room. I know, exactly. <laughs> so, um, but I think it kind of makes pushing things forward. It's about staying true to who you are and why I set up the business was about giving people confidence and through the, kind of power of jewellery, however cheesy it sounds, but it's just about actually putting on a pair of earrings makes you feel good. And actually it's keeping that message and the fact that change is really good for people. We need to, we're so used to just taking things for granted that I think actually reflecting on life makes us actually stronger. It does, yes. So not that you haven't done that, but I always like to close these interviews with three positives that came from this situation so if you had to pick the top three what would you say they are 
Um, I'd say the top three is I've been wearing a piece of jewellery every single day. I know I make jewellery and that's what I love doing, but actually putting something on to make you smile. Um, the second positive thing is I'm so grateful it's sunny at the moment because actually I can go outside to my garden. I, I am sorry for all those people who can't go outside because they haven't got a garden, but um, it's made me realise how fortunate I am and how I actually just like going outside. And then um, the third one is to really stay true to yourself. So one of my hashtags is be bold, be you, but it's definitely about keeping true to your own values and not changing who you are and not being scared to be different. Fabulous. Thank you very much. And if people want to have a look at your jewels, uh, want to reach out, where do they find your website, social media, et cetera, et cetera. So social media is at One of a Kind Club or the website is www.oneofakindclub.com or if you want to pop me an email, it's carol at oneofakindclub.com and then um, basically just follow me at One of a Kind Club. Even if one person shares one thing of mine, it, it will make me smile. And if one person orders things, there'll be a little happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad at dancing. <laughs> oh, well, we do what we can. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's been lovely talking to you and I, I'm sure we'll be in touch very soon. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much for taking this time and uh, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.